Titus sits in this dingy tavern. It smells of mead and fish. The smell is offensive, but not as offensive as the company. The patrons that infest this drinking hall are all scoundrels and thieves. They don't outright tell you, but I know the contents of a person. Simple gestures and mannerisms reveal more than people know. A vigilant is taught to look for such things. Amongst the rabble, there is a man that stands out. He drinks more than the rest of them, yet he holds his liquor well and seems to have an elegance about him. This man is a hunter. I will introduce myself. Maybe we can swap stories. Hello, good sir. Is this chair taken? No, young knight. Please sit. You look familiar, like someone from my past. Something in those eyes. My eyes have not always gleamed so brightly, old man. I do not care to speak of this. No offense, young knight. I once knew a woman whose eyes shined as yours. She was the most beautiful woman I had ever laid my eyes upon. But enough of this. I am now an old man reminiscing on the past. These memories are starting to feel like a dream. Enough! Let us tell stories of our hunts, and maybe I can give this knight some pointers. <laughs> yes, Hunter. I have much to learn from someone as old and wise as you. Titus and Ahab exchanged stories throughout the night. They drank and laughed. Ahab shared stories of the glory days and his most famous hunts, while Titus listened, mesmerized by the skill of this hunter. Ahab's escapades were many, and he shared them with glee. After a long night of drinking and storytelling, both Ahab and Titus retired to their rooms. Titus awakens and walks down the stairs. His head was splitting from too many bottles of mead. Ahab was tending a pot over the fire. He had brewed his secret hangover antidote. Drink, boy. Tastes like pine needles, but it takes the edge off the bottle flu. Titus takes a sip. Ugh, this is revolting, old man. I think I prefer the hangover rather than the remedy. Nonetheless, thank you, Hunter. Titus heads to his room and begins to pack his things. It is truly a pleasure meeting you, Hunter, but I must depart. Before you leave, young knight, I have a gift for you. It's a suit of armor I was gifted for slaying Potima, the Wolf Queen. Queen Elisif the Fair had it personally crafted for me. Unfortunately, a hunter needs to stay light on his feet, and I wouldn't move an inch in this clunky thing. I was going to hang it in Castle Dawnguard for the students to see, where it would only collect dust. I will feel much better if it is put to use by a true knight of the Vigil. I want to thank you, but I've realized we have never exchanged names. Oh yes, I am Ahab Everty, retired vampire hunter and teacher for the Dawn God. Titus stares into Ahab's eyes. His mind begins to race. It couldn't be. Could this man be? The one the Herald Meridia spoke of? It must be. This man is my father. Titus, overwhelmed with joy, wanted to tell Ahab that he was his son. He had waited so long for this day, and yet Titus felt hesitation. What would Ahab think? How would he respond? Did he ever want a child? And your name, boy? Titus wanted to tell Ahab with every fabric of his being, but the only words he could muster were, My name is Titus Dorn, and I will wear your armor proudly. Let this not be the last time we meet, Hunter. I feel I have much to learn from you. Thank you, 
Ahab ever did. What is going on, everybody? We are back with Titus Dorn Knight with a new exquisite set of armor and weapons. This armor was given to him by his father. Comes with a fancy cape, which unfortunately clips. And, uh, yeah, this is all very exciting. Let's throw that helmet on. I hope you guys enjoyed that cinematic. Titus has officially met his father. Um, the armor has a couple enchantments. It's crafted and made for a battle mage. And, uh, working at the Riften. Let's see. Yeah, we probably should drop off a couple things. So, I also want to say this. Watch this video till the end. There is a short cinematic at the very, very end. So, please, stay tuned. It's story related. It's important. Um, let's take a look at, look at our... Uh, ooh, look how cool that looks. Yeah. All right. So this is a gift from his father. Titus has not told Ahab that he is his son yet. I think he got a little nervous. Call that cold feet. All right. Watch out, buddy. Uh, let's put away the shield. Mm, I thought I had a shield. Oh, no. This is my old armor. So, yeah. He's still got his old armor, old cape. I'll throw that in there. And we are going to head back to Dawnstar. Which, I think we're just going to take a cart. Carriage it. Where do you want to go? The carriage to Dawnstar. Uh, Dawnstar is in the Pale. Straight through, or did you want to stop some Good sir, we will be heading towards the cold, cold city of Dawnstar. He looks so knightly. Uh, we needed this armor too. Um, we've got a higher armor rating, and our magic has been bumped up. So this is going to help us. Um, I think the sword has an enchant as well. So. That was very nice of his dad. Ooh, I think I'm hungry, tired, all the above. You know what, but won't worry about that. We'll go back to the monastery. Oh, wow. Maybe we need to buy a little bit of salt and stuff before we head into town. Let's see, anything of note? No. Nope. All right. Yeah, we're freezing, hungry. The people here are still playing with night. Man, that was a uh, horrible carriage ride, apparently. I'm pondering whether we should start this quest. It's hard. Yes, my son. I want to level up a little bit more before I start it. We'll head up back. We'll head back to the uh, what is it called? The Temple of Stendar. There's a uh, quest that we need to collect too. Don't worry. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. How much money do we have? I'll show you to your room. We're pretty low. I just really love this armor and shield. It's awesome. Sucks that uh, mm -hmm. Ahab was never able to use it, but it's in good hands with us. Ooh, wait, I need Sorry. to buy some salt. That appetite, huh? Please tell me you have some. All right, you have a little bit. See ya. All right. Yes, my son. I'm sure we can make something. Cooked pygmy fish. Uh, let's make that. And we'll make, yeah, we just, we need some more salt. We'll pick some of that up at, um, the Vigilant, with the Vigilant, uh, okay. So, 
just sleep a little bit. We do need to study some of our spells. Ooh. Alright, so let's take health. And... Hmm. Probably take a restoration spell. Your attacks and restoration spells and effects are 20% more powerful against undead. Yes, we'll take that. And then we will take one of these. Uh, reduce the stamina cost of power attacks with one-handed weapons by 15 points. Okay. Oh, look at that beautiful looking sword. And then our... Oh, look, it's got little holes in it. The shield. Okay, let's get out of here. I hate that it clips. It just bothers me. Um, but it is what it is. Like I said before, please keep watching. We'll take this firewood. I don't know why it's there. Uh, like I said before, please keep watching till the end. There is going to be a little cinematic um, that's going to be important for the story. So, um, keep watching. By the way, trying everything within my might not to save constantly. Um, just can't help it. I think the reason I save so often is because Skyrim tends to crash and this is this is actually a, for the most part a pretty fairly stable load order but um, you know I've had uh, a lot of traumatic <laughs> just traumatic uh, load orders with it that it's you know just ruined my saves and so I just save often when I say trauma I'm joking but it has been very frustrating and annoying. Alright. We are back. We are cold. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're getting pretty cold. I think for the next uh, div divinity perk point, we'll invest that into lowering our exposure. Um, I don't think we have one available yet. No. <laughs> Gentlemen. How goes it? What do you want, Imperial? Jeez. <laughs> so judgy. Okay, where is... Is there any work I can help with? Priest of Arke in White Runs requested our assistance. It seems they have some problems with a vampire. I want you to accompany me. Hurry up and prepare for the journey. The vampire won't wait for us. Okay. I'll see you there. I need to rest a little bit. Get things in order. Uh, yeah. Alright. I need to find want? some salt. Salt. Yeah. Salt. No. All right, what can I make for this? Oh, I can upgrade this. Uh, health, ooh, so I just need some fire salts. Okay, what is that, that flask? That is this. Um, it's supposed to illuminate the room, but it's, it's not very bright. So we'll start looking for fire salts. We need three of them. Um, Uh, let's see. Mm, take you. And... Let's go over to the... What would be the fantasy... Alright, buddy. Just quiet it down. What's the fantasy equivalent of a cafeteria? Hmm. 
whatever it is, we're uh, we're gonna eat. Nope, she got a lot of. We'll take the apples and then mead. Lemay's kin. What we call? Ooh, we'll take that. I'll read that sometime. Um. Good afternoon. Oh, okay. All right, now we just need to find a cooking pot. We have a bunch of food have you gotten used to that I need to cook. You may have to make some just uh. I don't want to buy food. I don't want to waste my money. No? Alright. I'm not worried. Um, what time is it? Um, do we want to travel through the night? You know what? If we need to camp, we will. I think I have a cooking pot in my inventory. Um, do we? I don't mind. We'll, we'll figure it out. Let's pick up another contract too. Uh, vampire. Vampires are mingling with mortals trying to corrupt the innocent, hunt down these filthy beasts and destroy them. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Wow. He's really moved quite a bit. Okay, where is the vampire? Okay, so we have a vampire in Windhelm, and then we're also doing a vampire quest in Whiterun. Let's throw our helmet on, and let us head out. Look at the shield, it has like a little rose on it. It's cool. Love this set of armor. The cape, cloak. Cloak, the cloak does give us a little bit of armor, but it also um, not only does it give us some armor, but it also gives us some warmth, I think. Let's check. Yes, it does. So we're going to head over to Whiterun. And then after Whiterun, we will head to Windhelm. Ooh, what happened here? Oh my gosh. My horse is so much faster. I love it. Let's get out of here. Uh, am I going the right way? I don't think I am. Okay, yeah. So, something I want to discuss is... There's so much traveling, right? Uh, we're constantly going town to city. Um, I like doing this as a player because it makes the character feel real. Um, this is sort of boring, um, but also makes Skyrim feel alive and real. He has to stop and stay at taverns and camp. and So, yeah, is he going to grow to be a super-powered... Um, paladin yeah he'll get there and will he be able to stave off the cold and his hunger through d his divinity eventually um and also spoilers he might find new ways of traveling um have to stay tuned for that nice but yeah i i think there's obstacles, right? There's problems that Skyrim is constantly presenting. Outside of enemies, what are those obstacles? The darkness. Um, hunger. Exposure. Um, getting to your destinations. You know, these are all things that Skyrim throws at us. And uh, this is, this right now makes me appreciate having a horse um, getting the perks leveled up with a horse and I better be on okay yeah wow his sword is uh, pretty powerful let's look at the enchant on it 
Sonic vibration vibrations deal magic damage equal to 2% of the target's current health. Alright. Not amazing, but... Alright. I'm just going to keep going. Keep on moving. Stop over at this watchtower. Sure everyone's doing all right, sir. We do everything doing, doing good. I I really have fun with the role play of a paladin, a knight. Um, uh oh, something's going on. Let's get over there. It looks like a vampire. Okay. Come on. Whoa. Got her. Oh, that was fantastic. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> oh, that was so good. Just from a story perspective, we were able to jump in with our uh, brothers, uh, Vigilant Ta Ta Talon and uh, Vigilant two other vigilants that are, are not noteworthy enough to have a name so spread the word I am a vampire slayer that was great so we killed our first vampire for this playthrough I'm sure Ahab's killed vampire not Ahab Titus has killed vampires before um, but probably not solo He's still, he's a very young character. Uh oh, something's happening. Why are you saying that? Who are you hiding from? Oh, wolves. We good? Fear not. Oh. Okay. He slices. He dices. You good? Oh, it's a courier. Let's talk to the mailman. I've been looking for you. I've got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your looks like that's it. Got to go. Oh, you know what? I think too. We have. The Harvest Flyer, which is on the 27th, so that's tomorrow, so there's going to be a festival, I think celebrating uh, the um, harvesting of all the fruits and vegetables that the farmers have accumulated. So they're going to be giving out free food at the um, taverns, so we'll have to make sure... I'll have to make note of that to go to one of the cities and we'll uh does, does Titus like the party? Does he get down? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't think so. He's not really had a, t a normal upbringing. Um, he's had a strange life. He's grown up with the vigilance his whole life. So um, I think being out in the just in civilization is kind of strange to him he doesn't think like a normal person I don't feel like he does uh, for many a reasons numero uno him being a uh, a child of Meridia literal child of Meridia We're not being figurative when we say that we killed a undead so Okay, yeah, Meridia is real happy about that. I have traveled far across Tamriel to serve you. Take a look. Okay. Um, we will sell this, and we'll hold on to that. Anything? We don't need that. Don't need that. 
Um, boom. What else? Lesser ward. We'll hold on to that. So we are looking for a big bad vampire, supposedly. So we're supposed to meet um, Altano. Is he here? Oh, what is he? Why is Altano there? Follow Altano or meet him in White Run at the Hall of the Dead. We might have to kill some time. Altano's hanging out at uh, the Honey Honey Brew Meadery. Our, but our guy likes to drink, apparently. Nothing wrong with that. I'm not judging. Yeah, see, that's much better. See the Solitude Wolf? Oh, it's so cool looking. All right. Gentlemen. We do need to get the perk that allows us to improve enchanted gear. Okay. So he's getting close. Um, let's tan some leather if we have some. Yes, we do. Alright, so we'll do that. Awesome. And I think we can make some empty water skins. And let's uh grab some water. We are for the reason I thought she was a vampire. Nope. Just an old lady. Okay, so we're going to go to the Hall of the Dead. Is Altano here yet? Our guy is uh, just taking a sweet time. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go warm ourselves by the fire and pray to the lovely Meridia for an hour. So has he gotten closer? Yes, he is here. All right. So let's throw up some candlelight. Excellent. Disrespect the law and you disrespect the yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. We're we're a good guy. We're a knight. There's no disrespecting of the law. We're going to throw our helmet on. Things get dicey. We'll uh, be ready. Where's Altano? Okay. We heard about the vampire. Are there any victims? If so, I'd like a list of them. I think we may have a problem. Here, take a look at this. Maybe you can help us. Guards will not. Don't worry. We, the Vigilance of Stendar, will deal with this vampire. Thank you. The blessing of RK be upon you. Yes, praise be to RK. What did you find out about the incident? All of the victims were completely drained of blood. This is the work of a vampire, a newly turned one at that. I'll take a more thorough look at the notes. In the meantime, you should search for anyone suspicious in the city. Okay. Don't we need the Yar's permission uh, for investigation? Anything I should know about the vampire victims? You said a newly turned vampire. Why do you think that? Bodies of victims are found every day. Only newly turned vampires act so impulsively. Hmm. Good observation. Anything I should know about the vampire's victims? Hmm. There is no connection of magical nature between them. All I can say is that they were all male. Okay. Don't we need the Jarl's permission for this investigation? Our activities are tolerated here in Skyrim, and with shortages of guards because of the Civil War, our efforts are welcome for now. Okay, fantastic. Let's, uh, let's eat a little bit. I want whatever buffs I can take. Okay, good. Alright. 
we are hunting a vampire. Ah, oh, finally. Whoa. Scare me like that. Let's keep a lookout. Let's put away our sword. But I guess we're looking for someone who is suspicious. Um... So here's what we know, the uh, people that were murdered, killed, were all male. Okay, speaking of suspicious. Would you like my sweet rolls? Uh, They're delicious. Where are you going? Um, no thanks, I'm busy, go away. So she is a woman of the night, to put it nicely. Sure, why not? Thank you very much. We're just saying that to your eyes for a moment. see how this plays out. Very shy. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Run, 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 run. Oh jeez, the thing is powerful. Okay, that's terrifying. Okay, sorry folks, I had some technical difficulties with some audio, so we're gonna have to redo this fight scene. It was too cool to not redo, but the audio got real janky. So let's, let's do this again. Sure, why not? Thank you very much. All right, we know what's gonna happen. Could you close your eyes for a moment? Come on. I'm very shy. Okay, let's let loose. Oh, that's such a cool effect with the cross. Ooh. Run, 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 run. Where? Where is she? Okay, I need to cast my candlelight. Okay, and then let's hit her with some mystic cross. Come on! Expel you! That is awesome. Very cool. All right, well, I thank you guys for watching. We slayed a vampire and have a headache. That's what happens when you're depleted of magic. But please stay tuned. Uh, there's a cutscene at the very end. And once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. <laughs>